They are so tiny. And I mean, it's unnatural how small these dogs are, especially this little dash hound. I mean, this is a wide angle lens, so you're not really grasping how small these dogs actually are. Anyhow, you know, like this little thing here, I know you can't see it very well. I'm gonna try and uh, block the shadow so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. And see how small it is. Anyhow, all right, moving past. So we're going along next puppy store. Jesus Christ, look at how small that is. So we have a... Uh... Hey. hey, Quintanio, oh, no, your store, no, no, no. the street. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. This... So it's a little, uh, I don't even know what it is, but it's tiny, like really tiny. And we have this one here as well. Tiny little dog. I mean, I don't know how, how they can get these dogs this small. It, there's no way. I mean, this Chihuahua here is still too small, but you know, and then this Dash Hound here as well. I mean, this dash hound's bigger than the one in the last door, but it's still very small. I mean, I don't know what else to say, apart from how small it is, and this one here as well. You know, the guy here's been very nice. He's not getting aggressive. He's just telling me not to do it, and then he's swearing at me. But yeah, anyhow, that's kind of what we've got here. So we'll move on to the next one. I mean, these stores just don't stop. We have a little pug here. Now, it's a miniature pug. You know, it's a toy pug. And then we've got, well, is it a Pomeranian or something? A tiny little dog, but it's it's not as tiny as what I've seen. Like, this is much bigger than some of them. So I don't really see this one. Again, like this is like a cross between a dash hound and uh, I wouldn't know, to be honest. It's uh, rather small as well, rather unusual. And same with this one. Um, yeah, so we'll just keep going. I mean, oh, so we've got a French Bulldog here. And, uh, you know, it's not exactly miniature. It's probably, you know, normal size, I'd say. Um, little uh, miniature poodle. And this was would be a toy poodle, not a miniature. And I think that says luxury item there in Korean. So uh, apparently this one's a luxury item. So it's probably going to be quite expensive, I'd say. You know, no water in there for it, no food in there for it. That's a bit disappointing. We have the same sort of dog here. Could even be a sister or something, brother. Yeah, the other dogs look quite normal. I mean, <coughs> oh wow. Minister Foxy, I think. So the guy inside, he's not concerned about me filming in this particular store. Then we have this store here. Holy dooly, look at how tiny that is. That is small, very small. We've got another one up here, tiny little thing. Might not be able to see it properly. You know, I shouldn't be stepping on the actual store here. The shop owner's directly behind me having a look. He's going to walk up and talk to the other shop owners. Once again, no food or water in the bowl. Uh, Oh no, I tell a lie, there's a tiny bit of water in that one. And there's, a, yeah, these guys have some water in there. But as you can see, the mat's been messed up a little bit. They've obviously pooed on there. Same with this guy, pooed on there and they haven't cleaned it properly. A uh, little, I don't even know what that is to be honest again. It's probably a mixture of, of dogs, but it's quite small. Same with this one here. I mean, it's got rather unusual head to it, but it's so tiny and I mean, we could just keep going. These dog stores are plentiful, and these dogs, some of them are really cute, but it's so wrong the way that they breed them. I mean, we're told that some of these dogs would uh, have their mother killed in a premature C-section, and they'd be pulled out of the mother while they were uh, in the process of being prematurely born, like this little chihuahua here. Like, they're just undersized. They really are undersized. 
not all of them of course, just some of them. But the smaller the dog here, the more they can charge. And I'm hearing, oh actually I'm not hearing, I know through my own research that uh, there are a number of dogs uh, like these that are going over to America. And uh, these ones are a little bit bigger in size. Pug. Yeah. So this is a pug. So uh, I don't know, it's quite a small pug, the smallest pug I've seen apart from the one that's just down the street here. And this one is Oh my god, look at this. Poor little bugger. Looks like he's struggling to breathe. Look at his belly going up and down. There's no way that dog's sleeping. It's not natural, not healthy. I don't know what to say about that. The owner doesn't seem to care, so I'm going to film a little bit. Anyhow, what can you do, mate? You know, I wish the police would come and they would uh, look at these sorts of places and try and determine how the pets were bred and whether or not they were born legally or unlawfully and whether there's cruelty involved. And I'd really like it if they would prosecute the ones that cut the mothers open and kill the mothers to bear the, the puppies. You know, it's really not cool. Um, this <laughs> little fella, I don't know what he's doing apart from biting his own leg and playing with himself, but... <laughs> Now you'll notice some of these dogs have like a gold chain around their neck. Uh, most often that kind of uh, implies that they're a more expensive dog and uh, that, you know, if you were, were to buy them you'd be paying more for them. <laughs> this young fella just likes biting his, biting his legs. <laughs> I think it's a miniature fox terrier, I think. And, you know, as you can see, there's a number of these inside as well as you go in. And we have little hairless cats here as well. They're called Sphinx, according to the window. I mean, I don't know how these are bred or how these are kept, to be completely frank. Don't think that they've been skinned because they haven't. That's how they come. These are very expensive cats, no matter where in the world you are. And, yeah, the little dog's up and running around again. Now, if you notice, uh, some of these have water, some of them don't. You know, this guy doesn't seem to mind that I'm filming, so I don't know what that actually means. This fella here is asleep, and I don't know why his eyes are rolled back, but I hope he's okay. He might be having a dream, or he might be sick. I'm not too sure. You know, I just wish there was something that could be done here, unfortunately. I mean, it's not just this store, of course, it's a number of the stores around here and most of Korea. And the puppy's awake. Please sit up. Come on, please sit up. Please sit up. Please. Come on, fella. Yes, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's healthy, healthy pup, it seems. Well, I shouldn't say he's a healthy pup, but at least uh, he didn't die then. I thought he might have uh, been going into anaphylactic shock or something, I don't know. Some of these dogs have a lot of issues because they're born prematurely. Uh, some of their organs start to shut down and uh, they have a problem uh, with getting the nutrients required or they overeat, undereat. When the dog this size, it's very hard for them to uh, be cared for properly and adequately. So, um, you know, these are the sort of dogs that are being sold every day here. And I mean, the demand for these dogs is there. There's a lot of people who want these dogs, who like these dogs, who like these smaller style teacup puppies. So, uh, hang on, for some reason the camera's not turning around properly again. I might just do it manually, if I can. All right, there we are. So yeah, we've got these little dogs again. You know, this fella seems a lot bigger. You know, just 
puppy. Oh my, look at how small he is. He is tiny. And I mean, if you have a look around his eye, it looks like he's got like sleep there or something. I don't know what else to call it, but um, yeah. This fella here is just so tiny. If you have a look at its behind, it's brown in comparison to the rest of its body. So I'm not too sure they're getting the care that they need. Um, most of them are asleep and very lethargic. Could indicate that these uh, smaller miniature cup-sized dogs are not necessarily getting the food that they require. And if you notice in most of the miniature size dogs, uh, well, we'll call them cages, there is no water or food. Uh, it's been the same way along the whole street here, unfortunately. So that's basically it. I mean, I could keep going, but it's just the same stuff repeatedly. And, uh, you know, I mean, here we are as well. This is the guy last time that got angry and said uh, not to film. So, you know, we'll just have a look at his dogs. I mean, they're no different from any of the other places as well. This is a tiny little dog, really tiny little dog. I mean, because I've got a wide angle lens and it's closer, they do look a little bit bigger, but you can see in comparison to the actual bowl there, how small this dog is, you know? And as we move along, I mean, this is a dash hound again. It's tiny. Look at how thin it is. You can see its ribs. I don't know what else to say, mate, apart from, Jesus. I mean, I just wish they would take care of them properly, you know? Once again, this little fella here. Now this fella here, because he's so small, he's gonna be very expensive. You know, I'd say they'd try and charge a couple of thousand dollars for him at least. And, uh, you know, once again, no food, no water wow. there. It is so tiny. It's so tiny. I'll try and uh, make it so you can see him. I mean, wide angle lens, very close. Looks bigger than what he is, but if you have a look at him against his bowl here, you'll see that uh, he's actually quite tiny. 